I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. China has pulled out of the World Pole Dancing Championships in Italy because the flags of the competing countries flown outside the venue somehow didn't include the Chinese flag. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. There's a pole dancing championships? Good gosh, what has happened to this world? This year, the items from the classic holiday song, The Twelve Days of Christmas, will run you over $100,000. Still, I mean, how often are you really going to need any Lords a-leaping? I mean, outside of live theater, of course. A Florida dad says his daughter tricked him when she asked for a ride to a Fort Lauderdale bank where she was supposedly going for a job interview. She actually robbed the bank. So next time a friend or family member tells you they're going to the bank for a job, you might want to ask them to clarify it a bit. 54% of those surveyed admit they rewrap gifts that they don't like and send them to someone else. Yeah, happy anniversary, honey. Uh, here's some flowers from Mabel Johnson's deathbed down at the medical center. A man in upstate New York broke into his neighbor's home during a recent house fire to save their trapped dog. Michael Orchard fled the burning property with the pup and cradled it in his arms while resting on the front lawn. Turns out, though, that Orchard was actually tripping on a mixture of LSD and cough syrup. There was no fire, and the entire scenario was just a result of his hallucinations. That might also explain how the dog was able to sing the talking heads burning down the house during the entire incident. Rob Kardashian and Black China have officially split. Well, uh, that's, that's one way of getting out of buying a Christmas gift. Remember how awful of an idea creating a movie based on video games was? Pixels, anybody? Well, now the small screen wants to get in on the ludicrous idea. Believe it or not, soon you can play Candy Crush while watching Candy Crush on TV. Somehow, CBS is developing a one-hour TV game show of Candy Crush based on the mobile app. You know what? I think the Super Mario Brothers movie might be more entertaining, and that's not saying much. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by the audiobook Winter Wonderland, a Dallas Powell mystery by T. Lee Harris. Winter has Louisville in its grip, and former FBI agent Dallas Powell has his hands full with car trouble, cat trouble, and trying to keep the Derby City branch of True Blood Investigations and Security, Inc. solvent. When a juicy insurance job comes his way, he jumps at it, but the discovery of a decades-old murder spawns a veritable blizzard of violence, and Dallas finds himself right in its path. Winter Wonderland – A Dallas Powell Mystery by T. Lee Harris, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample on the audiobooks page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Letting Rover slobber all over you might seem unwise. I mean, you do know what he licks, right? But although your pet's mouth contains loads of bacteria, his lick is essentially harmless as long as you're both healthy. That's according to Jan Bellows, DVM, president of the American Veterinary Dental College. Keep your dog's tongue away from open cuts and avoid the love if his breath stinks. That can be a sign of gum disease and the bacteria can transfer to you. All right, well, oh, well yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. When does a dog's breath not stink? Am I right? I mean, it's, it's a dog. It's going to have dog breath. A report says global warming has contributed to dropping the average weight of reindeer by 12 pounds. Personally, I think it's just because they've been working out. What's more convenient than a drive through window? Fast food that comes to you, that's what. Starting in January in certain areas of Florida, McDonald's will partner with meal delivery service Uber Eats, which allows users to browse menu options on its site or app before placing a trackable order. If all goes well, McDonald's will continue expanding the service to other cities. Well, there goes any exercise I currently get. Disgraced former politician Anthony Weiner, who definitely did not help Hillary in the 2016 election, would reportedly like to get into the restaurant business. And the jokes just write themselves. The fifth graders at Centerville Elementary School in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, have been performing Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol for decades. But this year, that tradition came to an abrupt end. Parents told local reporters the play was canceled because two parents complained about a line in the Charles Dickens holiday classic. The unnamed parents took offense at the words uttered by Tiny Tim, God bless us everyone. 
<sighs> All right, fine, fine. How about we just change the final line of the play then to God bless us, everyone, except you two imbeciles. In Florida, a woman posted an ad on Craigslist saying she's three months pregnant and is offering to sell positive pregnancy tests for $25 each. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I got, I got nothing. It seems someone called 911 last Friday morning and seeing a woman frozen to death in the front seat of a car. Three Hudson New York police officers, detectives, and two ambulances arrived at the scene to find the woman motionless in a snow-covered Subaru. Officers broke the window only to discover they had no chance of reviving the woman because she was a mannequin, apparently used for CPR training, which came in handy because once the owner of the car saw what happened, he needed someone to revive him. Watch the YouTube version of the Daily Dose of Weird News and also get the free mobile app with even more content at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And if you like creepypastas or stories of the strange and unusual, be sure to check out my other show at WeirdDarkness.com. This show is made possible by my generous Patreon supporters. Click the Patreon button at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com to learn more. I'm Darren Marlar. <laughs>